liquids turn to ban. Hello everybody, welcome back to Captain's Draft 3.0, presented by Dota Cinema and TV. My name is Sunspan, joined by Sindarwin, Sir Action Slacks on stats, and Pimp Uncle observing slash memeing slash production. We have game three of this best of three of the last series of Group Hippo. Evil and ironically, actually not ironic at all, Team Liquid with the horse logo is not, unfortunately, in Team Horse. We'll be face facing EG. There is a horse in Group Horse, guys, and that is Empire. Just saying. That's true. And nobody gets knocked out. It's just lower bracket for Liquid and upper bracket for EG no matter the outcome. And then if EG wins this, they get first place in the group. That is correct. I have been paying attention. Nice. Okay. Vega so... Squadron and EG will be the upper bracket in the playoffs for uh, this group. Team yep. It's all about positioning now. So we'll see. So I let's see, see what. Evil yeah, Genius I'm seeing Ricky. He got back. ignored last game, though. No, he got uh, banned. Oh, he did? Team okay. Yeah, it was last ban for Liquid, which right. they have the chance to do again. Yeah, if they do that, I think that's an invoker for oh, EG, yeah. probably. No doubt. No doubt. There's some really good EG heroes in this pool to keep an eye out for, and some really good Liquid ones. There's Kuroki's Rubik, there's Jerex's Wyvern, and we've got Invoker for Samil and for Fata, and the Darkseer for both Universe and Mind Control. It's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of big plays in this game, I think. There's so many heroes. There's also the Clockwork for Mind Control. I'm looking here, and I'm trying to think if there's a good counter to Brood. Maybe Alchemist? Because Brood could be super sick, Darks. as Ricky is available. I don't think anybody's going to first pick him. Darks is the best counter. I think that's why EG feel like they have to take it already. They could potentially go Brood mid as well. Yep, absolutely. Pretty dirty. And it prevents Team Liquid from picking Brood up. Well, I mean, they technically could, I guess. It's just annoying to play Brood against Darkseer. All right, what other Tier 1s do we have? Uh, I know EG has been playing a decent amount of Clinks. Ricky. Um, I mean, Enchantress is still there. Ricky is actually Evil second pick. Wow. Pick. Liquid. Support or core? We've only seen support so far this tournament. I guess Ricky is pretty good at killing Ench, right? Witch doctor. Yeah, potentially. That isn't affected by the attack speed slow. You just hit once right. every time. Turn to pick. So. But you gotta slow them. So, Diffusal Blade picked up or some sort of a stun to set it up. Otherwise, the ultimate is so bad. Yeah. Is there any AoE stun that we should look out for? Berserkers, Call is pretty good for Axe, Cogs, Clockwork. Yeah, that's... Concoction, that's not that great, It's just Curse, but it doesn't work the same way anymore. Yeah. But I guess then after it ends, they're clumped up, and then you can use it. That's pretty much it. There's not that many stuns. I mean, Wraith Fire Blast is a stun, but that's not really a great setup, I would say. Shadow Shaman Shackles, that's, that's the dream, I guess, in this draft. I love the bristle pick, by the way. I think it's super good. It's a natural counter to Ricky. Yeah, that's true. Um, I think Rubik does very little against bristle in general, too. You can just run him down. You're not really scared of... If you get lifted into the enemy team, usually you have a backup plan with your team helping you out, so you can front line very easily into the potential aggressive telekinesis. So, I like that pick a lot. Now, Liquid feel like they need to find a way to kill this bristle, so they're gonna get clinks. <laughs> Heavy single target damage. But they don't have that good setup, right? Because, again, Winter's Curse doesn't really work that way anymore. Um, I'm worried for Liquid's ability to kill this Bristle. Yeah, I'm amazed Enchantress is still there. I don't think EG takes it now, since they have their core Bristle and offlane Darkseer. I mean, potentially they could, I guess, just jungle it or something. But can Liquid get away with Enchantress? I don't know. They have a very squishy lineup. I mean, Enchantress isn't really squishy, I guess. Hmm. You know who'd be good She's for okay EG is Alk. Get them Ags, man. Bristleback yeah. Ags? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That's what I like. It's more fun than good, I think. Well, they do have a lot of minus armor synergy, though, with Goo and then Witch Doctor Ult doing physical damage. Yeah, true that. It's not terrible. And then with Acid Spray. Yeah, I could see that. Mm. I'd like to see Axe, though. I don't know how good that is, though. If anyone picks it, it's Liquid, I think. Well, yeah, EG could technically so. run a Greedy Jungle for Fear. But I don't think it's that good of a pick this game, and he could just get Rikied all the time in the jungle. So it's not... <laughs> well, Ricky is really a core, like... right? I mean, not I assume it's a core now. I mean, Rubik could be mid, I guess, but there's no way Wyvern's core. 
And yeah, that's Rubik's true. They not to play core Rubik's. Yes, oh, I was gonna, I was gonna bring this up. I didn't want to jinx nice. it. I wanted to see Pudge. I wanted to see Fear play Pudge because I know his Pudge is actually ridiculously good. But I don't know if that's gonna be the case. Oh yeah, it's definitely Fear on Pudge. I don't think there's. Good. I think it's. Well, it could technically be some male mid Pudge, but then we're dealing with a support Naga. Could try to do that if they wanted. Then put Deputy Naga, Fear on the Witch Doctor. You said it's male Pudge, perhaps? Yeah, that's the only other I way I I've, see them really I've never nice. seen, I mean, I'm sure he can play it, but and I, there it is. There it is, yeah. If anyone picks it's liquid. Good way of dealing with Naga, and it's good against Bristle. You turn him to your team. Yeah. So you can kill him with clinks. But there's a little bit of a, like, it's weird with their heroes because X. X and Ricky have like this weird synergy, or lack of synergy rather, against Bristleback. So he gets turned toward the clinks, but Ricky can't, like, no matter what, Ricky can't really deal with Bristle very well. How and is Curse? It is a mill. How good is Curse this Bristle. game? Um, it's pretty good if you curse someone next to Bristleback. Bristle has really high physical damage, and there's a good chance that the clinks will go for a medallion, maybe, so they can amplify it on the target. How does, uh, like, if. Pudge is rotted, that rot hurts his teammates. As It's not just physical attacks, right? So, like, Ion Shell Ten would also hurt remaining. the main target that's uh, uh, cursed shit, up. This is a new Wyvern. I think remaining. only physical, right? Only physical? All right, well, we'll see probably. Cause I think so. a lot of opportunity to see that. Either Let's way, see. this is Game 3 between EG and Liquid for the last series of Group Hippo. Group Horse begins tomorrow. Prepare and like we said, this is all about... The seeding. EG has already made it into upper bracket. No team is eliminated. Because that would not be fun. Yeah, the group stage is super quick. That's the thing I like about this format. It's super quick. Uh, about four days of each group. And then playoffs start immediately thereafter. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. This could be a long one. It is Arteezy on, uh, on the Naga Siren. So for EG, it probably will not end early. Unless they just snowball out of control. I just think in this patch, we very rarely have games that go beyond the hour. Even with something like Naga, you get maxed out maybe minute 40, and then most of the time it's... Or 45, maybe. Game just ends one way or the other. Well, it's going to be interesting to see. The Ricky is offlane, so it is a core, like you said. Fata will be playing Axe in the mid lane against Bristle. Oh, I've only that seen this a couple a really times. really interesting matchup. This is kind of a... I don't want to say he did it consistently, but maybe a year and a half ago, he would do this every now and then, but obviously not... It's never been a consistent thing for Axe. But I love him mid. Who's he going to be yeah. playing against? Oh, Here? it's... I th no. I'm guessing it's Bristle, right? So... Yeah. If it yeah. is Bristle, that's... It's a special lane, because obviously Axe can force Bristle to hit him in the creep wave and can deal a lot of damage, but at the same time, Axe is very low armor, so Quill Spray stacking up is also a problem, and it's difficult to just... You know... Bristle might be able to half-zone him if he plays it very well. Level 3 on. Just... Quill spam with bottle might work against this melee hero. It'll be interesting to see. My control is going to try to get this wave aggro. And he does so successfully. Has to keep applying an auto attack every now and then so he doesn't go invisible. First world problems here for Ricky. But it's going to be a 1v1 at least for now against the Naga Siren. So that should be an interesting matchup overall. Fata, level 1 battle hunger. Explain this to me. Um... Good question. Maybe it wasn't a question. Well, I don't, I don't know. think Fata? so. So far, it set them up pretty well, but now Samel is going to start dealing a lot of damage with these quells, and he backs Dyer's out. Is under and it's a way of trying to harass PPD a bit in lane and keep him away. Uh, it also gives move speed, of course, so he can create distance to the bristle. Bristle but doesn't yeah, really have much of an issue taking weird. that off. It's more for the witch doctor, I suppose. I mean, the the only real he alternative level one would be to skill counter attack. helix. Um, which would have maybe pushed the wave at an unfortunate time for him. Right. Well, I'm they interested to, to see if he actually maxes Battle Hunger. There's a one three one, just keeps a casual point. I mean, one point's okay just for the speed bonus, but as far as damage, it's going to be negligible, especially as we get into the later laning stages. Yeah, and against a hero like Bristle and Lane, he will always be able to get CS or less. So, oh, Fata being aggressed again here by PPD. He skilled the heal though, not Maledict, so I don't think they can get this kill. Man, playing it super safe. They the want Fata is getting game. zoned super hard. Like, EG are crushing the lanes if you look at the CS. This isn't even remotely close. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> He's Louise. And they're gonna kill too. Okay. What? How? Uh, 
All right, that is a really surprising kill. I didn't Meanwhile, think Naga top would lane, be able to solo kill Ricky. By the rune spear, he surged up, does not have hook, just rot right now, and Jerax will be fine. Very nice I, from Arteezy, though. He must have pressured mind control really hard and just drained his tangos and then caught him off guard with a riptide in the end with the ensnare. I mean, that's the last lane I was looking for yeah, a kill. Yeah, exactly. Honestly. I wasn't even... like I thought that lane was just going to play itself out, and they both get some CS and they chill a bit. Yeah. Artur had other plans, it looks like. And he has a one level advantage as a result of that kill. And like you said, the CS is actually insanely in favor of EG right now. Um, this, what do we have for the offlane? So they both transition to the to try, try to get that kill mid, but I think Fear probably gets maybe one more level in hook and, and then universe. starts to roam. Is my Fear's guess. coming in, good hook on Kuro. And he gets the hook into a rot into the He's right actually dead. universe, and that is a kill going the way of EG. Right clicks will not suffice from a tumble man. In fact, he better be careful. Skeleton walk just in time. No sentries in place. As <laughs> Fear going for a very, I mean, he has ion shell applied as well, so that's actually pretty disgusting. This is such a classic pub lane. I can't yeah. believe we didn't mention that Darkseer Pudge together as a laning option. Oh, Fata mid lane cask. Well, as the goo applied, he's going to attempt to run away. Has a lot he's of armor dead. for a short period of time, but once it runs out, that kill spray just rips him a new one. Oh man, he had arcane rune on the bristle. It's like a heaven sent for that kind of lane. You know what, bottom lane, Arteezy. Takes a little bit of damage from my control, but nothing to really write home about. And now there's three top for Liquid. They need to win a lane, badly. Mid lane, I think, is just lost. I don't know if you can, what you can do about that. Oh, Arteezy again against Mind Control. Just Has the mango, about it here. Yep. Yeah, Riptide on cooldown for another four seconds. Gets the bottle on the side lane. And is he actually going for this? Oh my god. Oh. Is it enough damage? Does he see? Okay, he's going for <laughs> I think he would have lived. Like... But that would have been really, really close. Yeah, 180 damage. Yeah. No, he uh, would have died. He would have died, yeah. He would have died, yeah. Well, at least we know that Arteezy's not hacking, guys. <laughs> We had really, to, he's we had to double it very check. Well. Yeah, I know Fear plays uh, Pudge quite a bit. Back, I think it was last year we were at, uh, I think it was the qualifiers for TI. He was spamming that hero, and that was during his injury. So you can only play it's... a couple games a day before icing it. Lots and lots of Pudge, though. It's a really fun hero. Oh, bottom. Arteezy going for the mango play, and there comes PPD with the dust. Beautiful setup. And Dusk with the cask. Try to right-click, they're gonna get a little miss action going, but the inevitable death will will come for that Ricky bot lane. And now this tower's in trouble. Bata was forced into the jungle, I suppose, and has to go back to base. But yeah, I was gonna right, ask, Liquid is Tranquil normal for mid? Uh, it's normal for Axe. <laughs> well, yeah, but if you play mid lane, is it? I think so, yeah, still. It's good move speed, good sustain in general. It gives you some of the oh armor God, that you're bottom lane again. They're doing the exact same thing. Dust is popped. Arteezy has no mana, but has a mango. Mind control forced to blink strike away. And top lane in the meantime, Fear surged away. Looks like they'll live. Arteezy again with the mango play into a cask. TP is coming. Tower is extremely low. Deniable, in fact. Arteezy. Going the opposite way as Fata is going to focus on PPD. Doesn't look like Ricky's going to be able to find a kill for himself. PPD taking a decent amount of damage. Will he pop might his just Voodoo be restoration. A couple more right clicks. Cast? I don't no. know. Sumail is here with the, the goo. And now Fata the force back. He has the illusions, which are actually quite good on Axe if you can hit directly. But he'll take a cast. Mind control is forced to just watch his teammate die before him. Very scarring experience for him. This is looking just downright ugly right now. Lakewood are getting stomped in this early game. They're losing by almost a thousand gold per minute, minute six. Jesus. Almost a 5k lead here for EG in the laning stage alone. That's because the only lane that's getting pretty much anything is the Clink's safe lane. And even then, the Dark Seer is pretty much tied with him. So, yep. Not looking good for Liquid. You. You pointed out they have to try to win a lane, but I don't know, I don't know where the ganks can can really come from. Uh, the Winter Wyvern and Rubik is a pretty weak support duo as far as damage is concerned. Both of them need levels to start outputting that damage. They don't really have it yet. And Bristle is a difficult kill mid. The Naga is also a difficult kill bottom. He's level seven now. Song of the Siren obviously available. And the top lane they just can't seem to ever catch them off guard without the surge. So he's just outplaying them in every lane. 
Yeah, and even when they tried to help the supports that is for Liquid, they were literally walking there, and so much time was wasted. They they're under leveled as a result, under farmed. Winter Wyvern finally leveling up his skills. He was holding on to the Splinters or the only one level of Arctic Burn for a while there, but we'll be forced to get two in Splinter. I guess that's not forced. That's kind of what you want to do normally. Smoke like, is there any? Oh, yeah, do they have? Top. Do they have dust? They do on fear. Yeah, Matumba's in trouble. He's gonna get cast. Oh, surge, cask, hook, rot. Tumbaman gets his ult. Actually, it runs out, I should say, so he has lower HP now, and Clinks is a super easy kill. Kuroki next on the list. Unfortunately for him, only level 3, and the double Ion Shell just rips right through him on top of the rot. Yeah, it's actually ugly. nice how the the Witch Doctor Voodoo Restoration counteracts the rot on himself, so he doesn't really take damage from rotting when PPD is next to him. Allows him to pursue that little bit longer. And not be scared. I think without Voodoo Restoration there, he would have thought twice about maybe diving for Kuro that mm. far, but he's healthy the whole way. Dyer's top tower is under I think Fierce classic build on this hero, by the way, is Tranquils into, I think, Soul Ring? Um, we're gonna see. He has the Tranquils already. It's gotta be between Soul Ring and probably Force Staff. I'm not so Just sold on blink, the whole... Guys. I'm not so sold on the whole Aetherlands hype right now. Now that it lost the magic resist, I think that was big a big part of the appeal for the Pudge was really? to get it for that. Um, I don't know. The extra range is nice, but the hook already has so long range that it's there are a few spots where it's really useful to catch someone on the edge of it, but when you look at how it actually plays out in games, like I would guess most of the hooks you land aren't actually max range. They're just like semi puts from fear into the, the heart of your opponents. You can be literally anywhere on the map. It's a global hook. But yeah, no, I get your point. I mean, it's, I would prefer mobility first, but I mean, at least I still think Aetherlands is kind of core because it's, su it's such a cost effective way to. I mean, it increases your damage as well. Don't even forget that. That, that is true. That, that's still the, the, the damage, region. which is good. Oh. We'll miss, but Dust will not sentry place for the opposing team. And nothing will come of this. Or will it? Universe serves so out. PPD is the only one that's kind of close, but should be good. 7 0 advan advantage for EG and. The lead is just rising. It's about 7,500 now in their favor. Oh yeah, the sentry top. My goodness. That is super, super close. Fortunately, no quest will be completed with that ward. <laughs> Which, by the Man, way, I haven't even started that one yet. I don't know about you, Cinder. Probably not a one? surprise. The countering sentries, <laughs> countering wards. Oh, I'm not sure where it is even in that. I don't know. I haven't very actively been uh, pursuing it. So you should I'm probably pay sure. more attention to the things that don't matter in Dota. Like yeah, I guess. Compendium. Wait, what does Sumail buy? Is that... Okay, it was just a Perseverance into... Or actually not Perseverance, he just got a casual Void Stone for the Mana and then Vanguard. And then... What's he gonna use the Void Stone for? Hmm... What are the good options? Uh, Ricky looking for just one couple potential backstabs to get this kill. He gets smoke bomb off into his ult, but it does nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's actually kind of funny, like you were talking about, the innate counter that is Bristleback. Yeah. Ricky just does nothing. What do you think he's getting with this Void Stone? It's like... Could Battle be a Lotus, Lotus Orb build up or Yules? I wouldn't put it past Sumail to get Yules. Lincolns? He's had a... A love affair with that item. Refresher. <laughs> I don't know, that is obviously very weird. Could just be the casual void stone, you never know. Highly yeah, doubtful, but... I don't know. It's a good item in the hero. Okay. He kind of needs the mana a bit, but... Attack. It's a little bit of an odd choice, we don't see so much. But damn, some mail is farmed, and so is Arteezy. Like, the gold graph just keeps going in one direction, it's almost... <laughs> There's a 7,500 gold lead for EG, and that's where the only one tower claimed. The mid tower is almost falling, the top tower is almost falling. Fear gets a hook on a creep, got it. Nice, gonna pour it out. Get wrecked, creep. And what did he buy? He used some gold here. Went urn. Okay. It's another good item on Pudge. Man, boring item, I say. You know, <laughs> I want I want more action with Pudge, and. I mean, I guess it's more sustained, but meh. I wanna see him, like, j jump somebody with a. Or staff, you know, or aether lens stuff. But if you uh, if you look at the net worth, it's just getting out of control. Up three in favor of EG as far as heroes are concerned, and two are just running away with this mind control in the meantime. Per PPD, they'll find their first kill of the game. Hook will completely miss. 
And Liquid will be happy with that exchange, because they gave up nothing. Bata really needs his blink, though. That's when they start coming online to a certain degree. And only a couple hundred away, 300 actually, in fact, to finish that bad boy off. But Universe, my god, he's so farmed. He has a mech. going to be going for Arcane next, I assume. Are there any, uh... What does Guardian Greaves take off? Anything in particular this game? Mm, it's, it's not very good this game. The slow from Splinter Blast, I suppose. Yeah, I think... don't think Clinks is getting Orchid, so... I think we're going to see him get Arcanes, and then a potential Greave upgrade is probably pretty late in the game. Uh, mm -hmm. Items that would be good are obviously mobility items like Blink Force Staff. Force Staff is really good against Ricky. And you're looking for a hook. He's going to get the invisible Matamba Man, but he's not invisible anymore thanks to the Sentry as well as Dust. There's oh, the good curse, curse from Jerax. Fear, is it doing damage? Oh, it's on the wrong target, so we can't really see yet. Fear will pay for that with his life. Matamba Man next on the list, though, for Sumail. He's just so tanky with that Vanguard and random voice tone, which will be a Yules, by the way. And Arteezy has come to say hello, and they will find the Winter Wyvern in turn. So two for one and the tower going the way of EG. That was a very good curse, though, from Jerex. That kind of... I mean, they didn't win the fight, but it salvaged what could have been a horrible situation for them. So, yep, they do lose a tower and two heroes, but could have been way worse. We'll see. Yep, it is going to be a four staff for Universe, most likely. He bought the Staff of Wizardry. I think, yeah, four slash blink, and then... I don't think Pipe is that bad. It's also not that great, this game, actually. Probably doesn't need it. <laughs> Figured there'd be a, at least one Charlie reference in this cast. <laughs> Mandatory. Alright, what are we missing on this Yules? I need the reasoning. I mean, it gives extra move speed, extra intel, obviously. I mean, I would say it's good against Ricky initiating on you, but he doesn't care about that. The move speed is great. So it's just more move speed related. Yeah. Just it solves his mana though, issues, it gives him move speed, it gives him Oh, Pudge hooks Kuroki directly on his cliff, and Fata is forced to just let his teammate oh, die. Oh. Suffering death. Whoa. Oh, it's my like God, the last control. tick of rot. I think it was really far away. It still died. But yeah, it's, it's a cool item on Bristle. He's... Because of his just big innate tankiness and then the vanguard build up he can go for something like this where he gets some more control and the mana problems is they're obviously solved with this it's really nice um decent counter to x actually if he if he sees him pre-blink he can pre-cast yules i'm not sure if that's the reasoning it's probably mostly oh, about the speed and mana i guess there's potential to extra, the, yules yeah. always has a use in the game oh well, true it's one of those it's items. Just definitely odd to see it's the first time i've ever seen on bristol back at least pudge here gets the hook into dust. Matama men, you're gonna get eaten alive, good sir. Sumail's here to steal the kill. Sumail fashion. It's going for Crimson Guard, by the way. And they're gonna transition this to a tier two. Although Sumail surged up. Alright, if he's gonna go like out of the box items, you gotta go Ags, man. I freaking love Ags on Bristleback. It's so fun. But probably not. Crimson Guard is complete at base, by the way. Yep, he is off the charts in farm. And we haven't talked so much about Arteezy, but he almost has a Radiance, minute 15, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, he just needs 500 gold for that recipe. And it's it's difficult to see the openings Liquid have to... Liquid can find here. I think they have to just try to make some plays with Smoke if they yeah, I mean, trying to slowly farm their... They, it feels like they death. don't have a window because they lost the laning stage so bad. Because usually, yeah. Clink is going to be running around this time getting solo kills, but he's... He is going Desolator, but still quite a ways away. Still needs one more Mithlor Hammer and I mean, the Radiance will be complete before the Death So Hunk. And who can he really solo kill? He can't kill the Bristle, he can't kill the Naga, he can't kill the Darkseer. Witch I guess, Doctor. Yeah, Witch Doctor and Pudge are the two only targets he can get, and usually when you start roaming on Clinks, you want to kill Chorus if you can. Supports are great, I mean, kills are kills, but... Those high priority kills that set back EG's game plan are very difficult for him to find. I think they need to get Fata active to smoke up him and use oh, that Oh, another hook. This something. time finds Jerax. He has a cold embrace available. We'll use it. Fata in the meantime jumps in. Looks like it might be to his death. One more quill spray will finish the job, it seems. Indeed, it does. Ricky in the meantime uses his ultimate to little to no avail. And EG just completely pounding into Liquid. Kuroki next on the list. Mind control. Looking to perhaps initiate more, but. 
We'll find the, the right clicks of Sumail. As I hear a song of the siren going off, this is going to be the fourth kill in favor of EG. Clinks was caught by the song. Not enough to get the kill, but the Radiance will tick away. And I hate to say it, but this feels like GG. I don't see how you can possibly come back from this. No, me neither. This is just an absolutely dominant showing from EG. I love how active they were in the early game. I think EG as a team often uh, strategically just play it a little bit slower and just, you know, farm up a little bit and look for their mid-game timings. But in this game, they identified how much they could actually accomplish with their Witch Doctor and Pudges just roaming around a lot. Both PPD and Fear really set them up for success in this game with some great moves. Uh, this game is make sure to destroy all his over. items before... The throne explodes. But with that, that well, is that the end of not only this series, but the end of the first group, which is Group Hippo. He takes first place in that group, followed by Vega. They both will go on to the upper bracket. Meanwhile, Team Liquid and Mama's Boys will go to the lower bracket. And of course, Group Horse will be in tomorrow. Who's the rest of the teams invited? Um, any final words, Slacks?